Hey, and good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Happy clothes day. Happy, I'm about to go get my cats and take them for a little trip while the house is being looked at day. So uh, let's go get the cats and then we'll talk some more. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm in the car. I've got Captain, he's not happy. I also have Socks with me, who's behaving very well, unlike his brother. But they're both in the same cat carrier, which is probably uncomfortable, but it's only for a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna go get gas. We're gonna go get the check off of the printer that I forgot at work. We're gonna go make a deposit. I'm gonna bring it back home and everything's gonna be great. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. Okay, so I'm short. Well, let me put this at eye level. Okay, this is eye level. That's what I can see. So, what I'm wanting to do is hey, oh, sorry, hey guys, I'm back. I was just gonna tell you, I'm gonna get another mirror made where can you see here? I'm gonna get this like a little bit longer. And then a smaller, a smaller um, frame, so I can see more of me. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back at the house. I've got the kiddos with me, the furry kiddos. Yeah, you want me to let you out? Problem is, I didn't bring a cat box, so <laughs> really don't want to let them out because just in case they decide to go pate somewhere, they just need to be inside the new house. So. We just have a little bit longer to wait until um, they're done looking at the other house. And oh, oh, I need to text them. Hang on, I'll be right back. I need a new charger. I need a new cover for my phone. And I don't have time to do it any other time except now because I'm making time and I'm gonna go get it done. Even though I probably could have done it cheaper. Money. I mean, like I could have went home, but I don't have time today. Hey guys, so the rest of my day got derailed with a migraine. I'm not sure where I left off, but we went and signed on the closing of this house that we're in right now. So I no longer own this house. And as I mentioned before, it is bittersweet because we've been in this house 21 and a half years. This Labor Day would have been 22 years. We've made a lot of memories in the house and we've had a lot of fun the ups and downs in the house um, but now it's time to move into the new season of our life and a new adventure and i'm excited and looking forward to it <clears throat> but also it's scary because it's the unknown so i felt a migraine coming on earlier today and i don't know if any of you guys suffer from migraines but i do and my symptoms typically are kind of feeling like a fogginess and the I could feel it was coming on, so I took three extra strength Tylenol and it dulled it, but I still felt a little foggy. And it feels almost like like this side of my face is just like not numb, but paused, I guess you could say, like just like like I can close and, and do everything on both sides of my face, but it feels like this side of my face is just more still. I don't know, it's weird. Also, I yawn. I do the whole yawning thing with my migraines. So, I made it through the day. I made it through closing. And everything went well. Everything went smooth. And then um, I went back to work. And I finished up the things that I needed to finish up today. So, check. Thank you for that. Thank you, God, for that, basically. <laughs> because if, yeah, uh, it, was, it was tough because it was tough to focus. And so about four o'clock, um, I decided I'm going to go home and Marvin was at the house, the gray house. And he's, he's like, Oh, come over here and lay down. I'm like, well, we don't have any furniture to be honest with you, but I'm just like, excuse me. I was like, no, I'm just going to have to go home. And man, this side of my head, this is where my headaches usually are on this side of my head. And it was pounding really bad and laying down, sitting up just wasn't helping. So I had a cold rag, wasn't helping. So I finally dozed off, but I'm telling you, it was, a, it was a pretty bad one. I haven't had a bad one like that in a while. So thankfully, I don't get them that often. I usually get them around my period. So again, that's why I think I might be 
starting my period, even though I'm supposed to be perimenopausal. Well, I am perimenopausal, but I thought like, hey, I thought we were like in agreement. We were gonna go like every three months, but no. Feels like it's gonna be every month, which, you know, whatever, it's fine. Um, so, that's where I was this, ooh, hear my stomach <laughs> rolling. So, I also received in the mail today, um, I need to do a home decor haul because I received the comforter for the guest bedroom and it's white with gray stripes. It's just a simple pattern. And then I received the comforter for the master bedroom and oh, the canister set. I had a replacement canister set because somebody, not me, broke the smallest canister. So we had that replaced and then uh, what else did I get in the mail? Something else. Uh, the ottoman came in the mail. And, oh, I bought like a um, drying pad. Next to our sink, we normally have like a um, drying pad mat thing that you just, I'll show you. In fact, it's in here. It's not like it's that far away. The other stuff is in the living room and stuff. And I'm not going to go out there. He's watching TV. But it's one of these dish drying mats from... Bed Bath and Beyond, Bed Bath and Beyond, not sponsored. So basically, you just just put your dishes on it. It is gray, duh, because I love gray. But um, during the week when we're not having people over, when we're not filming in the living room, I'm gonna have or like filming in the house in that area. I'll just have that mount out next to the sink. So when Marvin like washes his coffee cup or whatever, we can just like set it on the mat to dry and uh yeah so that's the plan um co did not happen today i thought it was going to happen today it did not that's a certificate of occupancy that's going to actually happen probably tomorrow hopefully tomorrow better be tomorrow we also have best buy coming to deliver remember the best buy fiasco from the other day best buy is coming out at 10 30 tomorrow i believe spectrum is either coming out because I've messed up times. Part of the, the mistakes with all this stuff is just that there's 12,000 appointments happening and I've messed them up. So Spectrum is either coming out at 10 or 1. So yeah, that's a pretty big window. But I'll have to be at the house anyway about 10.30 for the refrigerator. So if they come at 10, great. If not, I'll just go to back to the house at 1. And I think that's the only thing happening... Tomorrow, the certificate of occupancy, of course, they're going to have to come out and do that. Um, and I don't know what all that inspection entails. I'm looking at my calendar, guys. I don't know what all that inspection entails, but um, Spectrum install. Oh, Aslan, our granddaughter, has a softball game. She plays varsity. Girlfriend is a freshman pitching on the varsity team. So it's pretty awesome. We're pretty proud of her. Um, hey, Aslan, if you're watching this. Do you still watch Nana's videos? <laughs> I'm talking to her like she's two. She's a freshman in high school. Hey, Nana, what's up, girl? Is that better? I don't know. Hey, Nana, what's up, girl? Wow. My green brain. Hey, Aslan. What's up, girl? <laughs> it's Nana. Nana had a migraine today, but I'm feeling better. So don't worry about me. Um, her game's at seven. So hopefully we're going to make that. Refrigerator delivery tomorrow. Spectrum install tomorrow. And that's the only thing that I have on that calendar. I might have something penciled in. Let's look because I'm so popular. So, so popular. Um, Marvin gets paid tomorrow. And that's a, <laughs> another great thing. So, there we go. Winding down. They took the cabinet today to paint it. The granite guy came and, and fixed the hole. So, the dish disposal is just now a button on this the counter and the security guy came and replaced that panel there's a couple touch-up spots for paint i don't know about the fireplace because i didn't i didn't go by the house after this afternoon because i just didn't feel good that's how you can tell i don't feel good so i didn't stop by my house so um yeah that's that's where we are right now and hopefully this time tomorrow, I'll be filming from the new house going, we're moving in. We're set to close on Monday. So Lord willing and the creek don't rise, we will be closing Monday. And that's about all I have for you today. Like I said, I, I look around and I'm not sad, like crying sad, but I just feel like, oh, we like, 
this shower. We designed the shower so it'd be a bigger shower for us and this bathroom and the way the bedroom's laid out. It just All this stuff is just stuff Marvin and I did together and it's a little hard to like say, like to think like next week we won't be here. Like this will will be moved down, so or hopefully. Um, so yeah. Oh, let me show you something. So we're moving, and as I've probably mentioned, but the um, the cats have taken to laying in a little spot. Let me show you. It's for our towels, like our hand towels and stuff for the bathroom. And <laughs> let me show you. They decided it's their new cat bed. So we have two baskets under here. I just got this from Pottery Barn. This did not, this particular vanity did not come with the baskets underneath or anything, but. Oh, look at these little guys. You're just so sleepy. I love you guys. So yeah, that's it. Um, that was been my day so far. I'm gonna do a little bit of work before I lay down for good tonight and just try to get some really good rest because tomorrow and this weekend should be pretty busy for us thankfully pretty busy for us and happily pretty busy for us so i hope you guys have a great night and i will see you tomorrow bye